Hi, I'm Megan Olin reporting for CTV. For this week's installment of Campus Conversation, I wanted to speak with Judge Alex Sanders. This Thursday, the Cougar Activities Board is presenting Judge Sanders in a lecture series, and why wouldn't they? His resume includes being the former Chief Justice of the South Carolina Court of Appeals, Harvard professor, 19th president of the College of Charleston, as well as one of the co-founders of the Charleston School of Law. I wanted to hear more about his perspective on the different roles he played throughout his life. Sanders, thank you so much for meeting with me. I know you're a very busy man. Sure, I love to be on TV. <laughs> well, let's get started. I think the most appropriate question to begin with is, what's the spark that ignited your passion for politics? Well, that's hard to say. I ran for political office many, many years ago and had no idea of ever getting elected. I was just trying to advertise my law practice. After spending over 10 years as the Chief Justice for the South Carolina Court of Appeals, what brought you to become the 19th president of the College of Charleston? Well, the president of the college at the time was a man named Harry Lightsey. He had been a classmate of mine in law school and a dear friend of mine for many, many years. And he was about to leave the presidency of the college and he called me it was shortly before Thanksgiving, 1991, I guess. He called me and he said, I really think you'd like this job. This, is, this would be very suitable for you. And so he talked me into making my name available and I did. You were president of the college for almost 10 years. What made you decide to step down? Well, the college uh, is, uh, of Charleston is the best job I ever had but it's only so many times you can see it. It's wildly interesting, but staying at the college for nine or 10 years is like seeing the same movie for nine or 10 years. It loses its appeal after a while. You have obviously left South Carolina a few times for work and school. What would you say is the main reason you keep coming back, especially to Charleston? Well, I was happily living in Cambridge, Massachusetts and teaching at Harvard when my daughter had twins. And those little boys were growing up, and I was never getting to see them, and that's what brought me back to South Carolina. The College of Charleston is often referred to as the Ivy League of the South. Having worked at Harvard, how would you say that it hails in comparison to the College of Charleston? Well, the students at the College of Charleston are far superior, not as students, but as human beings to those at Harvard. You have seen students come and go through this historic campus, each with a pocket full of memories and moments that have changed their lives. What would you say is your most memorable and significant moment here at the College of Charleston? I don't know that I can pin down a moment because there were so many fabulous experiences I had at the college. But the students uh, and interacting and living among these students was definitely the best part of the job. Well, Judge Sanders, thank you so much for your time. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. It's been a real pleasure. Enjoyed seeing you. If you would like to hear more stories from Judge Alex Sanders, then you should stop by his lecture this Thursday, February 24th at 7 p.m. in the Stern Center Theater, room 206. Well, Cougars, I hope you enjoyed this week's installment of Campus Conversation. Reporting for CTV, I'm Megan Oland.